Now, before we start, let me add a little disclaimer. This is a fictional series, but it's based on real life. Everything that happens in this series has happened to me, around me, or I've done. So you know what they say, it's fictional, but it get real, you and me. Now for those of y'all who are new to the series or just ain't keep up, this is smooth. He's my little cousin. His parents fell down on their luck and now they stay in the hood. And living in the hood is hard for somebody who didn't grow up there. That's why he has me, his older cousin o Dog, to show him the rope and tell him what's what. So now that you're all caught up, Now the downfall of a lot of drug dealers and people who commit crimes is they don't know what to chill. They always want more. They could have ran up 100k, 200k, they'd be like, F it, this not enough. I need a meal. And because of that mindset, they often end up doing too much and get locked up. Smooth, let me tell you something. You ever heard of the story of Icarus? Nah, what's that? Alright. This is a little angel nigga, right? You know what I'm saying? He made some wings. He like, yeah, yeah, I can do whatever with these wings, right? Nigga talk about some. He kept flying higher and higher, right? Until the goddamn sun melted his wings off. You know, make some better wings. You know more of the story then? What? If you overconfident, bro, that's gonna be your demise. And this happens with every nigga before you, bro. Think about that. Thank you, Nori, bro. I'm about to take a shot. Get lit, bro. Where the hell your brother at? It's been three days. He must not care about you. Something probably happened to him. <laughs> All I know is that unless me and him have a talk in person, we're not going nowhere. He gonna come back for me. Uh, we'll see. Have fun. Don't go nowhere. My dumbass brother always doing something. Out this zone. Nigga, just stick the hooping, stick the hooping. Dang. Hey, Ken, where you at, bro? Ain't fool, you good, Ken? Bro, this has been feeding me sour chips and heady for the past three days. Bro, I'm so comfortable being a built ass, bro. He's a whole athlete, bro. And you holding him hostage? I am holding him hostage. He just can't leave. Hey, Slime, stop playing with me in this, bro. You know you and your brother? Y'all are very similar. You know why? You're both stupid and reckless. Man, sit your dumb ass down, bruh. You know this nigga, right? He broke into, he broke into this joint three days ago, staked up with a mask on. What do you think he was trying to do? Now, I'm not stupid. Either y'all was plotting against us together, or he ran on his own. You know what I'm saying? I really could have smoked his ass, but I know how it is to have dumb reticence. So I'm going to give you a choice. You take his ass out of here, and I never see him again, and if I do, his ass is gone on everything. 
And I, and I probably smoke you too until we smooth your grapes together. And he won't bat an eye. At the end of the day, that's my cousin. He didn't believe me over a corpse. So you gotta do, do what you gotta do. You just don't ever listen to me, bruh. Like, what's wrong with you? I told you I had it handled. Look, th think about how this sounds. You robbed the trap that makes me money, that makes you money, because I give you the money. That don't sound crazy to you? <laughs> Come on, bruh. But you lucky, though. Because when I was up in the county, I used my phone call real wisely. I was thinking about you. So I called Auntie Carol, the one that stayed out in Georgia. She said you could stay with her. Georgia? Yes, Georgia. But it's my home. Man, where you it up? It's a new experience, bruh. <laughs> you don't gotta worry about shootouts or none of that, bruh. Bro, you have a future. I don't. Nigga, you have a future, bruh. That don't come to a lot of niggas, bro. Come on, bruh. Think. Think. <sighs> Man, I got you some clothes, bruh. I'm gonna have all this shit handled before the summer ends. You're gonna be on the first bus ride back to Georgia. Better kill him. You're going the wrong way. Hello? Yeah, Dr. Hunan, what's good? Wait, what? What you mean the insurance ain't cover that? am I paying y'all all this money for? No, I'm not gonna f calm down. I mean, you telling me that I gotta pay 40K out of pocket? What type of has that shit just to f start? My mother got cancer. How the f am I supposed to pay for this shit? Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. Smooth. What's up, bro? Shit, I feel like I barely see your ass in these moves, bro. You been boo lover, eh? Yeah, bro, you know me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Shorty can. I don't know. I probably shouldn't hit her the first night, bro. I'm just not feeling it no more. So what you about to do? I might get some new ass, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Player, players. Just like I told you, right? You ain't teach me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I have to handle some Wait, you know what I'm saying? Nothing you have to worry about, though. Alright, that's cool. I bet. Be breezy. You too, bro. You? What's up? Fuck me, man. You straight? The show. Always, man. You know I'm taking over this. I've been meaning to talk to you for real. I got some little rap that I want to spit. Like, like, I feel like I've been here for a little while, you know? Try, try up my work. Bring in more weight. Shit, I'm trying to be with y'all. Y'all niggas out there. No. No. I mean, like, you don't think I've been putting out? You're I've not been, ready. Now, this is something I learned the hard way. You can help someone out so much, almost to your own detriment. But the moment you tell them no, they're going to feel somewhat disrespected and act like you never did nothing for them. I mean, like, you know, I, th I, you know, I thought I'd just ask you for disrespect. Okay. Is there anything else? Not me. You know, we should. We should. We should. You're not gonna close the door behind you, bruh? Shit, that's not gonna kill. My fault, bruh. Loud in my mind. What's my name again? Oh, Justin. Justin. Yeah, you. Spice, bro. You. Shit, I've been around here. You seen me? Every little just coming in out this zone, man. You no different from him. Because the way Smooth just you out there, I ain't never seen no like that. Another grown man told you you not ready enough to make more money? How old are you? Old enough, bro. Old enough. 
Yeah. You got a family too. Yeah. Am I wrong? I mean, sure they need me. Man, smooth, he just want all the power to himself. Selfish. I got, I got family too. I just had to send my brother all the way to Georgia because his cousin wanted to damn near kill him and hold him for hostage. So, when you want this little gold chain to get bigger, come all at me. I know potential when I see it. Now get out of here. They got cameras and shit. Now, a lot of times, the motives of backdooring is jealousy and greed. It's often someone close to you who sees you doing good and feels like what you have should be theirs. And this is why they say the streets is messed up. You have people betraying childhood friends and blood, or in this case, someone to put you on because of pure jealousy, when they could just get it on their own. to the end again now i don't have much to say at the end of this video you know what i'm saying just know we're on the road to one mil we're at 910k i think god damn so if you like my content don't be afraid to share with a couple of friends and if you have a clover brand or a company and you want to work through me you know what i'm saying just hit me up on instagram or my email oh yeah and if you want a shout out at the end of episode 7 just dm me on instagram that's all you gotta do so with all that being said the code word for today is loyalty so if you've been to the end of the video and want to confuse everybody else, comment loyalty. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, oh dog. Ow.